The Nigeria Institute of Medical Research, NIMR, as part of strategies in improving detection, limit, and controlling of the pandemic, have developed a molecular test for COVID-19 detecting kits cheaper than the regular PCR equipment with its reagents, at least 2.4 times more affordable than reagents currently in use. This is the highlight of the press briefing to unveil the research kits. Blocks TV Africa's Jacinta Obuku reports. Naima research team led by Dr. Chika Uwama stresses that innovation is a fast and sensitive point of care test for SARS-CoV-2 using molecular technique, which gives test results in less than 40 minutes. This instrument doesn't need to have a heating element and cooling element. It just heats it and keeps it at one temperature and that's done. So that's what was made simple and uh, makes PCR e expensive. You have to have a heating element, heat it up, and then cool it down again when it needs to go down, up and down, up and down through several cycles. The other part of it is that PCR takes too long for those cycles. This very fast. Seeing that molecular laboratories remain limited in number, especially at remote areas that are at disadvantage in getting tested, and testing centers are limited and mostly in urban areas, is said to be the aim. This was developed because we realized the need for people in the remote areas and for researchers who may want to go to the field uh, to do COVID-19 testing. The molecular laboratories that we have now uh, usually with very heavy equipment and very costly and are not movable. So the idea of a point of care uh, PCR testing was developed. While unveiling the kits, the team also called for more support for scientists in Nigeria. My DG has taken a step. We had a grant that had some extra money and we were able to take as much as 6.7, close to 7 million from it to buy these instruments. And then the other one I was doing out of pocket, about 3.7 million at some point, had gone into this. If this money has not come forth, it would have been just me. The other part is that if this has failed, that money is gone. That's part of where the support for scientists need to be strong. Nigerians are very innovative. It's just a support system to carry us. While no effective vaccines has been developed to date, it is therefore imperative for scientists to up their game in research to curb the pandemic. Jacinta Obuku, Plus TV Africa.